Salesforce Admin Interview Questions, Part 2 Q1. How many ways we can make field has required in Salesforce? Answer. 1. At the time of field creation we can make it as required in Salesforce. 2. Through page layouts 3. Using validations 4. Before triggers. Q2. What are validation rules in Salesforce? Answer. Validation rules verify that the data a user enters in a record meets the standards you specify before the user can save the record. A validation rule can contain a formula or expression that evaluates the data in one or more fields and returns a value of true or false. Validation rules also include an error message to display to the user when the rule returns a value of true due to an invalid value. Answer. Some of the operators we use at the time of defining validation rule, plus add comma and nbsp, sub comma and nbsp, mool comma and nbsp, div, and damp, concatenate, equals equal, and lt semicolon and gt, not equal, and lt, less than, etc. Some of the functions we use at the time of defining validation rule colon and nbsp. Date and amp, time, ad months, date, day, now, time and now, today, year, and etc. Logical, snull, snumber, not, null value, and etc. Math, min, max, sqrt, exp, log, etc. Text, speakville, begins, contains, len, text, lower, etc. Q3. Difference between import wizard and data loader. Answer. Data import wizard 1. The data import wizard is a Salesforce internal tool. Allow us to import the data into Salesforce org. 2. Here, we can perform operations like insert, update, upsert. 3. Supports only 50k records for processing. 4. It supports only 5 standard objects, account, contact, leads, solution, and campaign members, all the custom objects. 5. Import wizard supports. CSV file format. Data loader. 1. The data loader is a Salesforce external tool. It will not only allows us to import the data into Salesforce org. We can also export the date from Salesforce org. 2. Here, we can perform operations like insert, update, upsert, delete, hard delete, export, export all. 3. It will support up to 5 million records for processing. 4. It supports for all the standard and custom objects. 5. Data loader also supports CSV file format. Q4. Mention the types of profiles available in Salesforce. Answer. There are two types of profiles. Standard profiles. Profiles provided by Force.com Custom profiles. Profiles created by user Salesforce standard profiles are 1. Standard user 2. Standard platform user 3. Solution manager 4. Marketing user 5. System administrator, etc. Q5. What is permission set? Answer. 1. Permission sets extend users' functional access without changing their profiles. 2.A permission set is a collection of settings and permissions that give users access to various tools and functions. 3.If a permission isn't enabled in a profile but is enabled in a permission set, users with that profile and permission set have the permission. 4.For example, if manage password policies isn't enabled in a user's profile but is enabled in one of their permission sets, 
they can manage password policies. Q6. What is record level security? Answer. Record level security in Salesforce determines which individual records users can view and edit in each object they have access to in their profile. The permission on a record is always evaluated according to a combination of object, field, and record level security. Permission Q7 Types of Record Level Security Answer Types of Record Level Security, also known as Record Sharing Rules, Salesforce provides five ways to share and access others' records. 1. Organization wide sharing defaults 2. Role hierarchies 3. Sharing rules 4. Manual sharing 5. Apex managed sharing. Q8. What is view all and modify all permission? Answer 1. View all and modify all permissions are usually given to system administrator. When you grant view all or modify all for an object on a profile or permission set, you grant any associated users access to all records of that object regardless of the sharing and security settings. 2. In essence, the view all and modify all permissions ignore the sharing model, role hierarchy, and sharing rules that they create. Read, edit, and delete permissions respect. Furthermore, Modifier All also gives a user the ability to mass transfer, mass update, and mass delete records of that specific object, and approve such records even if the user is not a designated approver. Three, these tasks are typically reserved for administrators, but because view all and modifier all let us selectively override the system. Responsibilities that are usually reserved for the administrator can be delegated to other users in a highly controlled fashion. Q9. What is an audit trail? Answer. 1. The audit trail function in Salesforce is useful for tracking all the recent setup changes that the administration has done in the organization. 2. It records all modifications concerning the administration, customization, security, sharing, data management, development, and more of your Salesforce organization. 3. The audit trail can preserve data for up to 6 months. Q10. What all are actions we can do using workflow? Answer. Using workflows we can 1. Update a field 2. Send an email 3. Create a task 4. Send an outbound message. Communication with another system. Q11. What all are actions we can do using Process Builder? Answer. In addition to everything a workflow can do, except for sending outbound messages, you can 1. Create a record, not just tasks. 2. Update related records. 3. Launch a quick action. 4. Post to chatter. 5. Launch a flow. 6. Call Apex Code. 7. Submit for approval. 8. Invoke another process. Q12. What is flow? How many types of flows are there? Answer. Flows. Flow is an automation tool provided by the Salesforce. It is used to perform the tasks like sending an email, posting a chatter, sending the custom notifications, and etc. It is also used to trigger record insert, record update and record delete and it can be run for both before and after events. We have two types of flows in Salesforce. 1. Screen flow 2. Auto launched flow 1. Schedule trigger 2. Record triggered 3. Platform event triggered 4. Auto launched. 
No trigger. Q13. What are the different types of reports available in Salesforce? Answer. The different types of reports in Salesforce are tabular report that displays the grand total in table form, matrix report where grouping is based upon both rows and columns, summary reports are detailed reports in which the grouping is based on columns, joint report which allows two or more reports to be joined in a single report. www.salesforcestart.com